There is a place where granite spires rise from windswept prairies, where nature's wild beauty roams free against a backdrop of history, where every vacation is an adventure and every moment is unforgettable. This place, Custer State Park in South Dakota. Come, let your spirit soar. Set in the Black Hills of South Dakota, Custer State Park offers adventures, wildlife, and breathtaking scenery. Slender granite formations called needles dominate the skyline. Fresh mountain lakes and crystal clear streams offer refreshing retreats. And scenic roadways span rolling prairies and wind through ponderosa pine forests. Rich in scenery, wildlife, and adventure, Custer State Park is a place like no other and one of South Dakota's crown jewels. The park was established in 1919 at the urging of South Dakota Governor Peter Norbeck. Norbeck believed that the state's natural resources and wildlife must be preserved for future generations to enjoy. Norbeck was also instrumental in the planning and construction of two of the park's favorite scenic roadways. Norbeck meticulously mapped out the 14 miles of Needles Highway on foot and horseback. Completed in 1922, this stretch of roadway takes today's travelers on a meandering journey through the granite spires of the park. Norbeck also championed what many called the impossible roadway. Iron Mountain Road, built in the 1930s, navigates Custer State Park on its way to Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Norbeck wanted the road to be a slow, scenic drive. He said, to do the scenery justice, one should only drive 20 miles per hour. To do it full justice, you should just get out and walk. Iron Mountain Road is also known for its pigtail bridges that accommodate for the change in elevation while still blending with the natural surroundings. Three granite tunnels frame Mount Rushmore as it comes into view and scenic pullouts provide picture-perfect moments. The 71,000 acres of Custer State Park are a wildlife haven, home to bighorn sheep, elk, deer, prairie dogs, and wild burrows. But the heart of Custer State Park is the American bison. The buffalo, as it is commonly called, are most often encountered along the 18-mile wildlife loop road. Visitors are likely to experience an occasional traffic jam as the animals move through the park. Because buffalo are unpredictable, visitors should not leave the safety of their vehicles. Pronghorn antelope, bighorn sheep, and prairie dogs are also easily spotted along the wildlife loop. But the loop favorites are the begging burrows. These animals are descendants of the donkeys used to haul early visitors to the top of Harney Peak. They are now famous for getting up close and personal with visitors. Because the animals roam free, they are not always around the loop road. Stopping at the Peter Norbeck Visitor Center or the Wildlife Station will help you locate the herd. Or you can take a buffalo safari that starts at the State Game Lodge. The safari takes you through the backcountry of the park, providing a unique view of the buffalo herd. Custer State Park offers a variety of outdoor adventures for everyone in the family. Its four mountain lakes provide excellent water recreation opportunities. Canoeing, fishing, paddle boating, and swimming are popular activities. Visitors also enjoy picnics and walking trails along the shorelines. Visitors can explore the park on foot or on horseback. There are miles of marked hiking trails throughout the park that vary in difficulty, but all have beautiful views. Horseback riders will find four trails originating from the French Creek Horse Camp that wind through pine forests, along mountain streams, and into the grasslands of the park. Travelers that don't have horses can saddle up at Bluebell Lodge for guided trail rides. The park offers the most activities and educational programs during the summer months when warm days and cool nights lure vacationers. Custer State Park guests often enjoy many of the nearby attractions, including Mount Rushmore National Memorial, Crazy Horse Memorial, Wind Cave National Park, Jewel Cave National Monument, the Mammoth Site, and Badlands National Park. 
After a day of wildlife viewing and exploring, visitors can rest their heads at one of the park's eight campgrounds or four lodges. Campgrounds can accommodate most campers, RVs, and tents. There are also a handful of camper cabins that are air-conditioned and heated for year-round camping. The park's four resorts offer sleeping and housekeeping cabins, as well as motel rooms and historic lodge rooms. The State Game Lodge, built in 1921, is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. This beautiful wood and stone building once served as President Calvin Coolidge's summer White House. It is also where President Dwight Eisenhower stayed while visiting the area in 1953. The Game Lodge, Legion Lake, Sylvan, and Bluebell Lodges offer dining, general stores, rentals, and park activities. Creekside, near the Game Lodge, is the park's newest facility and is open year-round. Sylvan Lake Lodge sits above the picturesque Sylvan Lake in the shadow of Harney Peak. At 7,242 feet, it's the highest point in the United States east of the Rockies. Bluebell Lodge takes you back to the Old West. Here, visitors can experience horseback riding and chuck wagon cookouts with Western entertainment. Legion Lake Lodge is centrally located in the park and is an ideal spot for water and outdoor recreation activities. All of the resorts have a variety of large gathering rooms and banquet facilities for meetings, reunions, and weddings. When the seasons change, thousands come back to the park to experience the annual Buffalo Roundup and Arts Festival. Held the last weekend in September, the Arts Festival has local and regional art, as well as live entertainment. The culminating event is the annual Buffalo Roundup, when the park staff and volunteers bring in the massive roaming buffalo herd. This spectacular display of the Old West is an event not to be missed. Rolling prairie grasslands, towering granite peaks, Majestic wildlife, Custer State Park is a crown jewel of South Dakota. Come experience it for yourself and let your spirit soar.